Hello everyone, welcome back to Reddit now. I'm your host Peter and today's subreddit is r slash pro revenge. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you enjoy the content because according to analytics, a tiny proportion of you are actually subscribed. Without further ado, let's get into it. Today's post is by the bird kamikaze. Accidentally burned down my neighbor's fence and she tried to milk me for $10,000. Judge humbles that ass up real quick. This sub has gotten me through a lot of boredom and has provided me with hours of entertainment. I figure it's my turn to tell my revenge story. So it's been about four years since this happened. I was 18 at the time, working for a security company. There were constant call-offs and no-shows, have no idea why. But being so young and naive, I was constantly working 16-hour shifts and not coming home until 8am. I also lived with my father at the time. The time frame of this story was around the 4th of July. I finally had a day off and my best friend was back in town for vacation. We decided to get together and chip in on some good old American fireworks. To be fair, I have had nothing but bad experiences with fireworks, so I had no idea how this would be any different. We got home with the fireworks and we laid them all out on the floor. Sparklers, bottle rockets, cakes and Roman candles. I say, why don't we mess around with some sparklers since it's not dark yet? Great idea! We go into my backyard where it hasn't rained in well over two months and is extremely dry. You can see the problem here. One of the little sparkies from mine and my friend Sparkler made contact with the ground and made two small fires that quickly spread to a large area. I ran as fast as I could to grab the garden hose and quickly started spraying down the fire. It was no use. It was spreading faster than I could spray it. I handed my friend the hose and called 911. What felt like hours was only four minutes and the fire was spreading to the neighbor's fence. The neighbor came outside and they were fairly calm to grab their hose and spray down the fence, along with the dead grass in her yard. The fire department shows up finally and I tell my friend, only one of us needs to get in trouble. You should leave. He was reluctant to leave because he felt equally responsible, but I convinced him. I didn't want him to get in trouble and have to drop out of college. My neighbor was super chill about the entire situation at first. I told her that we could talk about replacing the fence and get some quotes to repair it. She was just super grateful that everyone was okay. About two hours after the arson slash fire investigator came to question me about the fire, I told him the truth. I said I was in the backyard playing by myself with some fireworks and accidentally lit the ground on fire. I had gotten off that day without being hit by any charges and was commended for being honest. Here's where it goes downhill very fast. About a week later, I get a knock on the door from the neighbor. I open the door and she hands me two pieces of paper for me to look at. There was a quote for the fence valued at around $4,000 and an estimate for lawn care valued at around $600. These are really shady and typed out on a Microsoft Word document. No logo or company name. She then adds, I will also be having you pay for my water bill for three months because the new yard will need lots of water. Now, the fence this woman had before was raggedy and falling apart. Her yard, dead grass, weeds everywhere, never mowed it. Now, looking at this paper, she wants a mahogany fence and a brand new backyard with flowers and trimmed hedges. I said, I need to get an estimate myself. This doesn't feel right. She says, remember you agreed to replace my fence and the real man keeps promises. I shut the door and called my dad to tell him about what just happened. He flipped the duck out and told me, son, don't you give that woman a single dime. He gives me the number to his handyman and tells me to take care of it. The next day, I had the guy come out for an estimate and the neighbor ran outside, flailing her arms. I did not give you permission to get an estimate on my fence. Technically, it separates the property line, so it's both of our fences. She calls the cops on me for having a contractor and they ultimately can't do a single thing because I'm on my property. He quickly finishes the estimate off at $1,200. I knew a guy who did lawn care from my time working at the grocery store. He estimated the lawn reseeding while she was away from the house to be around $800. After I get these estimates, I give copies to the woman and she is having none of it. I don't know these people and I don't want them near my house. They're probably really shitty contractors. I said, no, I know them personally and they're really nice people and do great work. She shut the door in my face and I went on my way. I ended up working a 16 hour shift that night and got home at 8am and this woman comes knocking on my door at 9am and demanded I speak to her. I explained, I would really love to do this but I just got home and I have to be back at work in less than 5 hours. I need sleep. She goes, what kind of lazy ass chat sleeps until 2pm? 
At this point, I had just about lost it. I told her, you can either accept my $2,000 for my quotes or kiss my ass and get nothing. She stood there for a while with her mouth gaped open, but she accepted my offer and planned to meet me down at the notary the next morning. I spent that night after I got off the work, writing a contract and gathering up $2,000 in cash. The next morning, I wake up and grab the contract to meet her down at the notary. I was thrilled to finally be over with this broad and never speak to her again. I waited for her for over three hours and she didn't show up. I get a call from her saying, I'm sorry, the $2,000 isn't enough. I'm having my guys start work on this project and you will be paying me the full price. Oh really? After that, I did not say a single word to her and watched for a few months as these guys turned her backyard into an oasis, complete with a small pond, brand new sod and flowers, the whole nine yards. Come to find out, she had plans to remodel these things for a long time and was just waiting for the opportunity to go through with it. Also, in this time, she used her remodel funds to go on a trip to Hawaii. You know how I found out about this? She was bragging about it on the neighborhood Facebook group and didn't know I was in it. I have a different Facebook name than my real name. Are you ready for the revenge? Now, four months after the fire and all the remodels, I get served papers to go to court for $10,300. At 18 years old, I'm having to hire a lawyer to work my case. When we finally do get to court, I lay everything out. The quotes, being harassed multiple times, not showing up after agreeing to a deal, not wanting me to get my own quotes, required by the law by the way, and her bragging about screwing me out of money and I have proof of all this. The judge looked at her and said, ma'am, with all due respect, you're out of your god dang mind. Not only did this young man tell the truth of what happened, he offered to pay you more than he was supposed to. Your lawn was already dead before the fire occurred. Therefore, he is only responsible for the fence of $1,200. I will also deduct this from the lawyer fees, $800. So, I burned this woman's fence down and all I'm having to give her is $400? Cool. She took a huge financial loss from this. Not sure how much the trip to Hawaii cost her, but she was in serious debt. She ended up having to sell the house because of it and moved into a smaller house. Haven't heard anything from her since. Too long, didn't read. Burn my neighbor's fence down. She sees an opportunity to milk an 18 year old to remodel her backyard and go on a trip to Hawaii. She takes me to court and walks out $9,600 plus in debt. Note, I'm not saying that I do not feel bad for burning down my neighbor's fence. I felt really bad about it and wish I could have handled it more civilly. I would have been happy to meet in the middle or get multiple quotes. To this day, I still do not use fireworks, because we seriously could have hurt someone. What I have learned through this though, is that it's best to take responsibility for your actions from the gate. The fire investigator had seen the leftover fireworks near the area of the fire and said he would have slapped cuffs on me and I would be in jail for arson if I would have given him any other answer. I was not criminally charged and the incident was deemed an accidental fire. I wonder if when the fire started, she was like, my goodness, the stars have finally aligned. I'm going to Hawaii. Some people have no ambition to move forward in life, so they desperately hope to be wronged by someone else, so they can sue for a lottery style jackpot. These are the people who consider jumping into the street whenever they see an expensive car go by. Nah mate, some of us just wanna die. Hey guys, thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit like and one of the recommended videos on the screen as they're a similar genre and you'll enjoy them too. If you haven't already gotten around to subscribing, please do so now as I'm just a small channel and it really helps me grow. If you, like myself, enjoy these revenge stories, head over to my channel and you'll find a playlist with all my revenge story videos. I try and upload every single day and I'm sure a lot of them will be going into that playlist, so make sure you keep an eye out. Thanks again for watching the video, this has been Peter from Reddit Now. See you later.